So in this video we're gonna see how can we make seamless tiling with Terrain Mixer and also with our new tool that is named Heightmap Painter. So let's start with the Terrain Mixer. First, I want to isolate one of the height inputs and then I will try to make it seamless. First things first, let's enable input controllers and let's go here and find the mask settings for the second one. Okay, now let's select this gizmo and move it all the way to the right. Now we will go to the properties panel and move this slider all the way to the left. So now you can see that the second height input is the only one that is visible, the only one that is pronounced. All the other ones are kind of dead, we don't see them and this is what we want. Now, if we would want to move this second input around, uh, let's see what we have. You see that we do have some sort of tiling going on, but if we view it from the top, you will notice that it is actually a mirrored image or the mirrored height input. Sometimes we might want that, but this time we want a seamless terrain that is repeating without mirroring. So let's first see why this mirroring happens. If we go to the terrain mixer nodes and if we go and check input 2, press tab, you will see that this is set to mirror. We can also set it to clip, but see what happens now. Not really what we want. So what can we do? Well, it's kind of easy and obvious. We can go to the texture paint. And here we can kind of paint our seamless texture. So let's do that. First, let's select the right height input from this drop down. It is this one. You see that these match. Second, you have to go to the view and check this, repeat, and also under the brush properties you have to go down and set tiling X and Y. So now if you try to paint you see what you get. Cool right? But we don't want that of course. What we will do we will add the texture to this brush and this texture is actually the same height map used for this height input. So this one also, we will go down, under the stroke, we will use anchored, and also we can enable edge to edge. So now, if we try to paint something, this is the effect we get. Of course, under the render mode, nothing appears, and that's because we have to save this image. And we see that our new image is added to this image data block. So now you see that our height input is, has already been changed. Let's do some more painting. It is very important that you save image every now and then and you can do that here or if you're in a texture paint mode in a 3D view you can do it here. So if I make a change I can go here and click save all images. Sometimes you will have to refresh because these files are really huge so go here and then go here. Now if we go to the 3D viewport, we can check our tiling.
Oh no, something is wrong. Don't worry. Go to the Terrain Mixer nodes and set these here to repeat. Go back. And now when you move your gizmo, the tiling will behave as expected. In our new tool height map painter, this will be a lot easier job. So let's go to the texture environment. And here, if we press N, we can see all four available layers. So we just have to decide which of these uh, will be tileable in the future. So maybe let's uh, start with the second one. As before, we will choose the brush we need and I will paint with this soft one. I will go all the way down to tiling, enable it on X and Y, and also under the view, I will click this repeat image. Now I will set the texture for my brush. You could also set the alpha because we're just painting with white, but I'm used to setting the texture. So let's see, new, click here. I will first start painting some ridges here. First, I have to set the correct color. Let's disable the other layers because we don't need them now. Let's adjust the brush. So we have the anchored stroke method enabled. This time we'll drag it from the center. A few more adjustments with the airbrush. Let's use a different texture now. I'll set the blending mode to lighten. Let's use a different texture. This one seems nice. Let's try a different blending mode. Let's move to the first layer and add the final detail here. We'll change this texture again. Something like this could be nice. Not really pronounced, although I like the balance here, but I just want to make it a bit stronger. So I'll set this to the lighter tone and now it will be really pronounced. Like so. And there you have it. We have up to even 16K maps available, so be sure to check them out. All you are left to do now is to enable the height map preview and bake your height map. Cheers.